Hello, I'm Robert Badia, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about the famous 4212 or 4413. When we talk about that, it means uh, the gear and pinion, both from front and rear. We have uh, two combinations, 4212, 42 here and 12 on the pinion, and 4413. Um, I would not mixed, I mean, I would not make 4213 or 4412. I test it and the mesh is not perfect, so I would not do it. I would always go for 4413 or 4212. Uh, saying that, uh, I want to say that I, want, I always go, I always drive 4212 all around, so front and rear and at any conditions, any track, always 4212. But when we thought to put 4212, um, the car looks grippy, more, it has more grip, especially into the corner, and then it has more forward traction. Um, sometimes if the track is super grippy, then you get quite big grip or too much grip with 4212 and sometimes you can use 4413 front and rear or 4413 only front. So when we use 4413 only front and 4212 rear, it means the underdrive. The car looks easier on steering into the corner and on power it's easier also, more look, looks like more a for, forward wheel drive, but it also quite much lower than 4212 all around, so it's not a combination I like more. But I know some drivers like the 4413 front and 4212 uh, on the rear just to be more consistent and easier to drive. And it's also similar feeling when you go 4413 all around, that you feel the car easier to drive, but you lose uh, lateral grip and speed corner, corner speed. So that's something mm, you have to test, I would say, because sometimes um, if your driving style likes more to be easier on power, even if you lose grip, then you can go 44, 13 all around. But I would recommend to, to work on 42, 12, because the car is so much faster and you can make it easier to drive if you go, for example, on the center spur gear on 4212. I go from 44 or 45 normally, but if, if you go, for example, on 45 and your car is not easier to drive, you can go 44 and it will go, it will become easier for sure. Um, even though if, if you think it's too much, you can go 44, 13 all around and you can go spur gear between 46 and 47. I usually use 47 when, when, I, when I drove 4413. On Ibaki, 4413 is the stock uh, gear front and rear. I use the Ibaki on 4212 also because I like more, but the drag brake and so on, uh, you can manage better the 4413. And that's why we recommend 4413 on the Ibaki. But if you feel the car is okay and maybe you, you need a little bit more, more speed, you can go 42.12 on the e-buggy also all around. So uh, this is the fast tutorial, I would say, because many people ask me about the difference between both. And this is all. If you have any question regarding this, just let me know in comments or just social media, whatever. I will answer you. I've been like one or two weeks a little out on answering, but I'm here also again. And once again, um, if you liked that video, just share it. If, I, if you didn't like, as I always say, just share it also. Uh, we will help all RC community and will be better for everybody. So that's all. Uh, next week I will come with uh, how I built the MBX8 diffs 
because many people ask me about the shims and so on, so I will let you know how, how I do it. So we we'll see you on the next week with another video. Thank you, bye bye.